Hi there, I'm Chaplain Tom Soldier. I'm the Deputy Chief of Chaplains for the Army, and I'm here today to talk to you about uh, risk-taking behaviors and suicidal ideation or attempts. Uh, I spoke to you in a previous uh, video about my experiences as a young soldier and some of the high-risk taking behaviors I engaged in and addictions and suicidal ideation and attempts in my own life and how through the efforts of others who reached out and, sh and demonstrated concern for me and really kind of threw me a lifeline, um, I stand before you today, um, a person who's been able to live a productive life and have a meaningful existence, um, and it didn't terminate as a young soldier. The end, of that uh, the end of my life story didn't terminate there. And so to help illustrate what that really means to me is, is well, you're, first you're seeing the person sitting here. <laughs> I mean, who'd ever thought I, in my wildest dreams that I would have been able to you know, come to this station in life? It's only but through the grace of God that I sit here today in the concern of others. And then also the, the fullness of life that you enjoy as a result of relationships and the, and the people most important to you. And I want to just share a piece of my life with you today, the, the result of the efforts of others a long time ago in giving me that second shot. I'm holding a picture of my wife, Jill, and I at the beach. Uh, 39 years of marriage, and here we are enjoying each other's company at the beach. Uh, just, uh, I, couldn't have, I couldn't have found a better uh, life partner in, than in my wife, Jill. And then another portrait I want to show you is the portrait of my family. Uh, three sons, a daughter, two daughters-in-law, uh, celebrating Christmas together, loving each other, enjoying each other's company, uh, and seeing my children grow up and live productive adult lives, to see my three boys actually go into service in our nation's military one in the Air Force and two in the Army. What an amazing story. Uh, that could have been an absolute blank page, friends, had I acted out uh, as a young soldier in a negative way. And then, and, the, and for me and my wife reaching another phase of our existence, here is the first of five. This is the first granddaughter born in our family. And this is Grandpa sitting right there looking eyeball to eyeball with the next generation of soldiers as they begin to step out into life. So friends, really what I want to impart to you today is uh, soldiers and family members is we are living in a world uh, where people have difficulties, problems, and challenges. And unfortunately, in some cases, people make poor choices and they make final solutions. I want, I'm here today to implore and encourage you that whether it's you or you, someone that you know that needs help, encourage you to get it or help them to find it. So that the portrait of their life, the tapestry of their years can be completed and the extension of relationships and contributions that they can make in this life are fully realized. Never take the shortcut of a, of a solution that really brings nothing but pain to others by taking your life or allowing your existence to be marred. Um, by your unwillingness to seek help. So I just want to encourage you today uh, that you would watch out for each other, that you would take care of yourself, and if you're in that place, get the help that you need so that you can live the life God intended. May God bless you in all of your endeavors, and may you live long and full and prosperous years.